It's 2023 and you're finally ready to start that video podcast, or maybe you're ready to start pushing it in YouTube Shorts and other short form content. Well, here are five things you can do to help your video podcast succeed specifically on YouTube. Number one is take advantage of YouTube Shorts. YouTube is pushing its Shorts platform. It's even monetizing it as of February 1st with ad revenue. And it's a great way to share clips of your show, get people hooked on a short piece of content, and then listen or watch your full episode on your YouTube channel. The YouTube app even has a dedicated Shorts button now here at the bottom. And when you make that short form vertical content, you should be publishing that to all the platforms, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. When you record your video podcast with Riverside, it's easy to make those short form vertical clips. Here's a recording of a video podcast I've done. I can click the edit button in the top right, and you can see the nine by 16 option right there. I can set the in and out point for my vertical clips, export that, and now it's ready for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels. If you wanna grow your audience for your video podcast, make sure you're posting to YouTube Shorts and again, it's a way to monetize now starting with February 1st. If you'd like to learn more about YouTube monetization for shorts, check out the video linked above or in the description. Number two, keep your audience watching. Anytime someone comes across one of your videos, you always wanna make sure you can point them to another video or longer form content. The more your content is in a viewer's watch history, the more the YouTube algorithm will push your content to their homepage when they log into YouTube. That means throughout your full length episodes or even in your clips, make sure you say, watch this next video and be specific. Whether it builds on that topic or at least it's related, make sure you tell people, check out this video and you link it there in the YouTube channel or in the video descriptions. And especially in your shorts, make sure you put something that says, watch this full episode on the channel. Also put time into your thumbnails and titles. When you're publishing your full episodes on YouTube, don't just say episode number this from this name podcast. Choose a catchy title, maybe even a topic or trend that you covered in the show that will show up in search results. And take some time and make an attractive thumbnail. Try to take some still images or screenshots from the episode, add some attractive text and big lettering, anything that will catch the eye of a viewer. And don't hesitate to experiment with thumbnails and titles even after your video is posted. Change the thumbnail and title a couple weeks after that video is published. See if it changes the click-through rate. The click ratio means the percentage of people that saw the video, maybe on their homepage or in suggested videos, to the percentage of those that actually clicked it to view. And of course, when you record with Riverside, we make it easy to also publish the full length episode of your video podcast right from the Riverside editor. You can export it even up to 4K and it never needs to touch another video editor. You can do everything in the Riverside dashboard. Number three, find trending topics and cover those on your podcast. Whatever your niche is, whether it's entertainment or tech, maybe just popular culture, find the trending topics, and then cover those in your episodes. One of the fastest ways to gain new subscribers and higher view counts is covering those trending topics. If you're doing entertainment-based content like TV shows and movies, watch what's trending on Netflix. Look at what's coming out on Disney Plus and comment on that. Also, just go to the YouTube Explore section and then go to the Trending tab. Here you can see all the videos and shorts that are trending. Look for something in your niche. If you're doing tech, here's one about the M2 Max MacBook Pro. If you cover entertainment or games, Here's a new trailer of the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Maybe you want to react to that during your show. Do keep in mind, if you're going to cover trending topics, try to turn that content around as fast as possible. Even if you don't get your full length episode out on YouTube or on your audio podcast, start sharing the shorts from the episode you just recorded covering those topics. This way it can increase your viewership and subscribers on the channel. You can also use tools like Answer the Public for free. Search a topic that might be in your niche, like the Apple M2 chip, and then you can see questions that people are already searching for. These are topics that you can cover in your podcast episode. When you cover these topics in your podcast and you share those clips, either in shorts or on your channel, then make sure you put these keywords in the title of your video. Again, that will help with your SEO and discoverability. Hopefully someone discovers your podcast through search results. Number four, use video to your advantage. Maybe you've been podcasting for a long time and you've done audio only shows for years. If that's the case, make sure to do things that actually take advantage of the visual medium. Some of the larger shows, they can have two people talking at a table and they're still gonna get the views. But as you're starting out and trying to grow the channel, use more visuals in your video podcast to attract listeners. Show video clips, B-roll, maybe even have multiple camera angles during your video podcast. Now Riverside makes it easy to share that content while you record and then they'll be a part of your export even in the Riverside editor. For instance, when you're recording with Riverside, we have something called the media board. Here you can load audio and video clips and it will play during the recording. And when you export your full length podcast from Riverside, it will include those video and audio clips. Here in the media board, I have a video clip that I just uploaded here and it'll click to play. And not only will me and my guests see the video, but when I export this, this video clip will be included. And a new feature from Riverside is you can upload keynote, PowerPoint or PDF slides 
and present those in high quality during the recording. Here if I click the Share button and choose Presentation, I've already uploaded a PDF and some slides, and I can present these while I record. And if you'd like to do some post-production editing or pulling more clips, you can export from Riverside directly to Adobe Premiere. All the video, audio tracks, screen shares, presentations, and media board items will all be laid out in a sequence neatly for you, and then you can edit it as you'd like. Finally, number five, don't forget to promote your show. A lot of times after we've recorded, edited, and maybe posted on YouTube, it can be exhausting to try and share it even more places. But honestly, that's one of the most important parts. If you don't market your show and promote your content, people are not gonna find it. So make sure to take the time, share links on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, post those clips, make three to five, or as many as you'd like. If you have a longer show, you can make up to 10 clips from a 30 or 60 minute video podcast, then publish those to TikTok, Instagram Reels, and of course, YouTube Shorts. Start an email list for your subscribers, encourage people to sign up during your video podcast, and then deliver new episodes to them via email as well. And of course, take the audio from that video podcast recording, put it on your podcast host, and send out the audio-only version as well. The goal is you want to be everywhere that potential listeners and viewers might be, so they can discover your content. But there are actually ways to automate some of that sharing on social media. If you'd like to learn how to use automations to share your podcast and video podcast, check out this video above or the link below. We go through several automations for helping streamline that marketing and promotion of your show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. We have lots of tips on building a video podcast setup, how to use video switchers with Riverside, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.